I'm Rick Plum, and it's time for another Lucia Capital Group weekly video. So we've still got some time left in 2021, which means that right now may be a great opportunity to do a little tax planning. Now, this is especially true if you're retired and you're looking for ways to potentially lower your tax bill, either right now or over the long term. Here are a few things you might consider doing. Now, first, think about ways you may be able to manage the taxation of your Social Security benefits. Have your financial advisor check to see how much of your Social Security benefit is taxable, if any, and then look for ways that you may be able to reduce that amount. One way to do that is to manipulate your Modified Adjusted Gross Income Calculation, or MAGI, by changing where you receive your income from other sources. If you're able to do that, it can, in turn, affect the amount of tax you pay on your Social Security benefits. By lowering your MAGI, you may also lower the taxes you might be paying on your benefits. Next thing to do is to try and manage your income tax bracket. Of course, in order to do that, you have to know where you are in the income tax brackets. Understanding the source of your income gives you the ability to manage your income streams to potentially keep you in or out of specific tax brackets. This has a lot to do with controlling your future required minimum distributions well before you turn age 72, or even accelerating income into your current tax bracket through a Roth conversion, or maybe deferring some income into the future. You do have some options here. Part of this process involves selecting the appropriate basis securities to sell first. If you have room in the 0% bracket for long-term capital gains, you may want to sell any low basis stock first. But if you're in the top end of the bracket, then selling high basis stock might make more sense for you. Now, as I said, it all comes down to where you are in the tax bracket, and this is one of the ways you manage your income on your tax return. How much gain do you want to show? Well, it really depends on how much room you have in the bracket. Your advisor can help you with that as well. Next, you may want to consider aggressively harvesting any non-IRA portfolio gains and losses. Now, personally, I actually like harvesting portfolio losses to offset other income more than using them to offset long-term capital gains, especially if you're in the 12% ordinary income tax bracket. Why? Because it's kind of a waste to use a loss to offset a 0% long-term capital gain tax. It may be better to use that loss to offset ordinary income and thus reduce your MAGI. That maximum $3,000 loss on ordinary income can reduce your MAGI for Social Security taxation purposes, which could potentially keep as much as $2,500 of your Social Security out of taxation. Now, these are just a few of the many ways to manage your taxes for 2021 and beyond. Tax management and tax efficient strategies are things we do all the time here at Lucia Capital Group. If you're concerned about your tax bill for this year and you want to know how to potentially manage it to your advantage, just give us a call. We're here to help.